everybody. It's time for today's comedian. Please welcome back to the show our good friend from New Hampshire, Steve Scarfo. a great thing for a guy with no hair to do a hairband move. <laughs> I'm excited. I've been, I've been very busy lately. I'm glad to be here. I, uh, we have an eight-month-old child at the house right now, and she's fantastic. I love her. I think uh, from the last eight months, I've gotten a total of six or seven hours of sleep, I think, <laughs> is how that goes. Um, I think having the baby, things change. You know things are going to change when you have a child. You expect the no sleep. You expect the feedings at 2 a.m., what I didn't expect was the stuff that was going to happen to me. My behavior changed, and I don't know why, but apparently when she came out, somebody flipped a switch. Biologically, you're a dad. That's what happened. You're a dad. Stuff doesn't bother. Stuff that used to gross me out doesn't bother me. I, I found myself the other day picking boogers right out of her nose. <laughs> I don't know why, but it was there, and it bothered me. I pulled it right out. <laughs> Drooling, I don't care. Wiped it right off. I think it started like in the first month. I was holding her. And she's beautiful, big brown eyes, wonderful. Big, big puffy cheeks like her dad. <laughs> and I just wanted to give her a little kiss and I went to give her a kiss. And as I got like here, she farted. <laughs> and that's not the unexpected, that was supposed to happen. We know that's gonna happen. What I didn't realize was gonna happen is I was gonna go, I think she farted. <laughs> Like, I'm Columbo. Like, I had to announce I think she, I said it out loud. And because I was a good investigator, I had to check it out. I went in with one finger to check just to see. Oh. That, yeah. I didn't know it was going to happen. Thankfully, it came out clean, because otherwise, that's just the oil change from hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, was just, it was bad, but I love her. And now she's eight months. She's crawling. And stuff has changed around the house. I've got to have put up gates. We have dogs. We have the baby. We have two floors. I have gates at the top, at the bottom, at the left, at the right. Living room, kitchen, bathroom. There's 112 gates across my house. <laughs> it is right now harder to go from my kitchen to my living room than it is to cross a border. <laughs> Not the Mexican border. That one's easy. <laughs> but, but my poor dog was trying to get in the kitchen the other day. There was a little guy at the gate going, fill your papers. <laughs> the dog was like, the paper's in the kitchen. I got to pee. <laughs> It's been busy, too busy. Uh, I, I'm still wearing winter clothes. It's spring out. I got my long sleeve shirt on. That's all I had. I haven't gone shopping yet because we don't have time. My wife picked this out. You guys like the shirt? Yeah. It's that women love it. <laughs> it's a nice style, but I'm not a fan of the color. It's the red. I like black shirts, grays. Bra I like those. They're better. But my wife kept bringing home reds and oranges. One was burgundy. I didn't even know it was a color. I thought it was wine. <laughs> burgundy red. Like, what's with the reds? Bring me home something better. She goes, no, those, they're too cold on your face. They wash out. You need the warmer colors because you're in autumn. <laughs> yeah, if you'll notice, only the ladies are giggling. Yeah, do you know why the ladies are giggling, sir? Do you know why? Yeah, because they know what the hell an autumn is. Do you know what, is, do you know what autumn is? No, of course, you have coyotes, my friend. <laughs> you don't have to know, but that's the thing that they have is summer. When do we have an autumn? So I didn't let her shop for me no more. I went out for my own stuff. I went out to a store I thought I could go to. I went to the big and tall. Some of you are quicker than others. <laughs> Apparently that and, that conjunction, that's not optional. That's actually, it's not and slash or it's and. Big and tall. You guys are seeing my problem. I'm not tall. I'm not. I'm short. And I'm stout. And that's when it hit me. I'm a friggin' teapot. <laughs> Come on, you guys, you can giggle. People had the nice Converse, they had Adidas, people got the cool Nike swoosh. Do you know what I got for a logo? <laughs> Wait, I'll give you the full effect. That's ridiculous. But it's better than the stuff I got as a kid. Because when I was a kid, my mother did all her shopping in Sears. And it was before online. You're laughing too much already, you know. 
the catalog, and I got, yes, you know the catalog. I got tough skin corduroy pants. Yeah, everybody, tough skins. Aptly named, made out of steel cable, I'm pretty sure. You walk through the house, it was like <laughs> You walk too fast, a little fire starts right in your crotch. Some of them had the knee patches. Ooh, I look sexy in ninth grade, it wasn't good. And I've always been a big dude. You know what size they had for me growing up, people? Husky! Yes! I heard you saying Husky's not a dog. It's a dog, man, it's not a size. It's not right. So you know what that made me growing up my whole life? I was a Husky Autumn freaking teapot. I was a pumpkin with a spout. It was my costume for nine Halloweens in a row. Walking around going, trick or treat. Hey, you guys have been fantastic. I've been Steve Scott, but thanks for having me. Right. Bring Stevie back up here. Steve Scarfo, everybody, will be right back right after.